Hey guys, how's everybody doing out there? This is Jared with J&J Fab. We have come up with an inch and three quarter drop kit for your Jeep WK from 2005 to 2010. Um, we've machined these out of solid steel right now. I'm just gonna kinda go over a short installation. I've already got this on my Jeep. I've actually just pulled my steel ones off. We're gonna run some aluminum ones. We're doing some testing on them. Um, I just wanted to do a short video here and kind of show you the process of installation on this kit. And bear with me here, I'm not a big video guy, so this is my first kind of instructional video. So we'll see how it goes, okay? Thanks. Now, I started putting these back in here. I am running the Super Pro Boostings on my differential. So what we have here is when you pull them off, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put these studs, they're going to insert from the inside of your mount to the outside. So what you're going to do when you slide those in, you're going to put your mount on, you're going to put your lock nut on here, and you're going to suck these wheel studs into your mount. That will hold it tight. After you do that, you're going to want to back your nut off just a little bit to let your mount move. So this way, when you lift your differential up to put your bolt through, then you have some play to move these to adjust them. So again, these are the aluminum mounts that I'm going to be running and another guy's going to try them out. We're hoping to switch to these. I know some guys don't think aluminum strong enough, but with the aluminum today, it's almost as strong as steel. So we're going to try them out and we're going to try those before we put them on the market. So that is how that goes on. You're going to lift it up. I'm going to show you here in a second the other side that is complete with all the bolts in it. I'll show you the position of the one that I showed you that was notched a few seconds ago. Okay, we're back here. I tried to get some light on here. This is the driver's side. I already have it completely mounted. So I am looking, as you can see, there's the diff. There's the mount up there. Now this is the front drivers. As you can see, the engine mount's coming down. This is the engine mount. This is the one that has the rounded corner. It allows this to slide in around this engine mount without having to do any grinding on this engine mount. So we didn't want to do that. We didn't want people to have to modify anything. So these are bolt on. Um, as you can see, we have the top lock nuts in. We have the bottom bolt in. And that one is all connected. So the only one that's different is that front one that has a rounded corner. Now, the back one here, let me see if I can get a picture. On the instructions, you're going to see a place where I recommended just to file a little bit. And that will be on this right here. This is the driver's rear. Just on this mount right here, just file it just a little bit. It lets this swing back around towards the driver's door. Makes it a little bit easier when you lift your dip up to put your bolt in. It will go on. The other way, it just makes it a little bit easier. That's totally optional. It's just something I did on this one. So there are the mounts after they are mounted and tight. I'm going to move to the front here. Now the front, I've been running these for quite a while on my other one, so they're a little bit dirty. I had a similar lift, but people were wanting to buy it, and the way I had it made before it was welded. I didn't feel it was good enough to put on the market, so we designed these other drops. But on your front, you're going to drop it down. You're going to put these inch and three quarter spacers with the bolts that drops your front down to inch and three quarter. Now, I am running super lift cross member with the drops and super lift steering knuckles with my inch and three quarter. But I bought those separately from super lift after this drop, so all I did was I didn't need super lift drop. I just did a small notch in the super lift cross member and I don't know if you can see it in there, but I did reinforce that and plate that with steel after I did the notch to clear mine. So that is pretty much all there is to it, guys. Now you will need to do the cross member notch to clear your drive shaft here. If you're not aware, your drive shaft after the drop will not clear. So you will have to notch your cross member to drop your drive shaft in. So there you can see the mounts from the back. 
And I hope this video helped you guys. I'll try to post it up and do some editing on it. And hope you enjoy them. I hope they work out for everybody. Thank you.